game two of the Bojangles bracket uh, brings back a, some old Region 2 4A local flavor. You got Spartanburg Vikings against the Lawrence Raiders. Tell us about that good local matchup. Yeah, it should be a good first round matchup. Uh, Spartanburg, we're always happy to have them in the tournament. And, and they, again, Coach Fred Ford returns a good nucleus off last year. Um, they were picked number two in our region behind Burns. And so uh, you really feel like Spartanburg's going to have a breakout year led by Mike Murphy, Tavares Scott, uh, some of those same guys that made uh, major impacts on the football field are also outstanding all region basketball players. Uh, so you have to feel like Spartanburg is in a really good spot to have a, a good season this year. And they're matched up against Region 1 2 uh, 4, I'm sorry, Region 1 4A. Uh, Lawrence High School won 19 games last year, returned all five starters. Uh, Ty Madden's a guy to keep an eye on if they feel like he's a college player for them. Uh, Coach Ben Sinclair's group uh, really feels like they can contend in Region 1, along with Hillcrest High School, who we've already talked about being in the tournament. So to me, that, that matchup with two locals uh, who don't play in the regular season should provide an exciting first round matchup. Coach Game 2 in the RSN girls bracket and got uh, Woodmont from o over in the Moonville community yeah. against uh, Oakland okay. uh, out of Tennessee. Tell us about that one. Well, that's going to be an interesting matchup as well because Woodmont has Asia Jones and she is a Southern Cal commit. And uh, Oakland actually have three D1 um, signees already. Shelby Gibson, who is a signee with Ole Miss. Um, Ashley Eubanks, who's going to another, Northern Kentucky. And Maddie Cook, who's going to Belmont, in, uh, Belmont University in Tennessee. So we have a lot of um, D1 college athletes uh, playing in that game. And Woodmont, I've seen them play this year. They've been very successful. They have a strong inside game, and Oakland has a strong inside and outside game. So, you know, once again, the field is going to be very, very strong.